In this demonstration, we're going to first look at the uh, PMI capability introduced. So I'm just going to create a flat pattern, just in the normal way. And we're going to have a look at that flat pattern. And what you can see now, the callouts, rather than individual callouts for each bend, they're grouped together in a, in a PMI label. So this is default out of the box. It's showing all of the information available. We can go into each one of these individually and change what information is visible. So if I turn off bend name and neutral factor, they disappear there, or I can take this new uh, flat pattern information note, which gives us the number of cutouts, interior cutouts, exterior and interior cut lengths, the minimum X and Y dimension, and the total cut length. All of the parameters that have been available within the properties of the flat pattern feature are now automatically placed onto the flat pattern view as a note. And these, of course, can also be edited by removing, for example, interior and exterior cut links. You can, of course, set these up first. If I go to Preferences PMI, you can see in PMI Preferences under the sheet metal area, We've got the previous general body and bend that were introduced at the last release. And now we've got the flat pattern view preferences here. And what I can actually do here is set these up either here in preferences for this part, or I can, of course, set this up in customer defaults. And for example, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to turn everything off except the bend sequence ID. And I'm actually going to take away the bend sequence ID prefix text. And I'm now going to create another flat pattern view using these new settings. And if we go here, what you see here, let's just move that out of the way. We can see I've just got number identifiers for each of the bends here. We can, of course, use the existing bend list to reorder these. If I want bend three to be bend one, I can renumber them, that's fine. But the value here is now, if we go into PMI insert instance, we have an MBD rule that's been provided out of the box in the MBD logical rules area under table, we've got create bend table. I insert this rule, I pick the view and it inserts the bend table for me. Just move that over there so we can see everything together. So while I've cleaned up my flat pattern view with just my numbers, and these numbers relate obviously to the information here. Now this is a MBD rule that's configurable. This is just showing what can be done. And if I go back to the flange feature, for example, and change the 45 degree angle to 30, you can see the flat pattern has been updated, but the bend table doesn't. What you need to do here is go into the MBD Navigator and under Rules here, create bend table and update. And we can see the bend angle now is 30 degrees. Once that's done in the 3D realm, we can shift across to drafting if necessary and create a base view. I'm just gonna pick that flat pattern view and under Settings, I can inherit that PMI from the model view. And when I place that on, we can see we've got the same information in there in the drawing.